Hey guys, today I'm giving you six easy steps on how to install metal door frames. Okay, first thing you're gonna do is check your elevations, the great, uh, the great elevations. I, I've already got shims down there because I've already checked it, but I'm gonna show you. So I got 35, seven, eight. 35, seven, eight on this side as well. Okay, so I've already shimmed it up with these plastic shims. So you want to make sure that it's level, right? The door frame level uh, horizontally and vertically, which I'll show you. The clips, <clears throat> get the clips installed. The, these doors already come with clips already installed. Otherwise there's other clips you can build and snap them in. Okay, so these are some fancy different types of clips. There's are like a universal adjustable clips. So the door is five and five eighths. So you just line it up to the five and five eighths. And then you can see the, the clips, these fit through the gro grooves. And it says right on it, five and five eighths. So clip, so you got, these is your clip. I'll cut these off as well because I like to screw through the stud this way and when you wrap these over it's harder to get the drywall in. So these are the these are these little clips that usually wrap the stud, but I always cut them off. I only use them if I can't if I don't have access to the inside of the stud, which I'll show you in a sec. But yeah, you just clip them off right there. So it looks like so. And then these pop in just like, you know, you just gotta you gotta put them in this it won't fit in this frame but you pop them in and clip them over like that so you know they get a little tricky so you fight with them sometimes right but you just kind of go like this turn it around clip it in and you put it at the hinges right so at the top middle and uh, the bottom both sides of the door right so when you're hammer drilling in the bottoms I, you only have to screw in the two clips okay then you need you're gonna need pin bolts quarter inch drill bit I like hammer drill bit for the concrete I like to pull them out if I can shoot there we go a couple out anyways I got two out all right and I got the drywall from, in this case dense glass to go in behind so I got to cut a couple little pieces strips like this Double check your swing. Uh, make sure you uh, you know your swing, okay? In, out, wherever that is, okay? Double check, make sure you got that correct. There. All right, so what I mean is we need to set the bottom, okay? So that it's, the spacing is correct. Okay, and then you see the holes. You gotta get a hammer drill in there, pin bolt to pin bolt them bastards. Okay, so remember now the six steps for for installing a metal door frame. Number one, check your grade elevations and shim the side that you need. Two, double check the swing of the door. Make sure you got the, the hinges on the right side so the swing is correct. And install the clips. Uh, cut pieces of drywall to space in the frame properly. Uh, the fire rating requires the drywall to slip in behind the frame. Uh, four hammer drill and pin bolt the bottoms uh, five is laser level the hinge side of the door and then six place the side studs in and screw in the clips use the drywall for spacing <laughs> simple as that guys so you see what I mean here And put two screws in every clip as far out on the flange as possible so you know what I mean. <sighs> cool. Basin is good. Screw all. Like I said, put two screws in each one. You're gonna check the level then. You start with the hinge sides. You level the hinge side first. Make sure it's good and then you're good on the other side. And I got the board in there at the top already. It's spacing is beautiful. Deadly. 
Okay, now we're gonna make sure that uh, it's level. Okay, well, I use a laser to level it. Uh, I'm not a fan of levels. Cool. I like to point the laser right here on the inside of the gym at the stopper. Something good here in the bottom and it's just splitting it and you can see it's got, got to come in a little bit at the top. Which is good. I can adjust it. I got to go put screws in the stud. <sighs> so yeah. And then the other side, we got, I got to make sure get the get make sure the shims are under there. Pin bolt the inside. Same thing, you know, make sure the spacing's good. And uh, oh, tell me I Oh no, we're good. Okay, so it's important to, that you hit level the hinge side. So now, you can see, all I do is I set the frame, so it's perfectly level, and I clamp the, the stud at the top, screw it in both sides, and we're done, on this side. And that's pretty much the hardest part. Once you got the, the hinge side set and level, it's a matter of squaring it across, so it's simple after that. I don't piss. Yeah, same thing on this side. We put the dent glass in or the drywall. Set the spacing and hammer drill it in, homie. And the spreader bars here will make sure, like, when, uh, we'll keep it square over, right? So. Yeah, I just did the same thing on this side, right? Uh, put the, the dense glass on, pushed it in, so now my spacing's proper. Now I can screw it in. I, don't, I know it's level on the hinge side, so we're good to go. Spacing's good all the way up. I got a piece of dens in here and at the top. Alrighty, now it's time to put it all back together. A couple things, so just so you guys, so you guys know what it looks like when it's done, complete. Um, the board will go in behind the frame all the way around even on the top you can see I just slightly cut where the clips are so it goes in but a trick is to 45 your 45 the back side of the board that goes into the um, into the door frame and hammer in the the wafers at the in the corners okay um, on the studs and the uh, box beam always level the hinge side make sure the hinge side stays level the whole time because when you're pushing the board in sometimes you can move the frame or push it at a square but you can see it's deadly so we got board in behind the frame all the way around therefore it's fire rated right so um uh, that's an, another thing too make sure your walls are level plumb right this the uh, this way because then you the doors are going to be leveled that you know this way you only have to level this side way you know what i mean like the vertical this way instead of uh the this if you know what i mean right this way <laughs> as long as your walls are straight uh then your front your door frames will be fine but yeah use a laser always use a laser to level your Level your doors on the hinge side and uh, make sure the elevation is also uh, level, okay? So, yeah, if you need to, shim up the bottoms before you pin them down. If you're new to Chris Hogan Vlogs, make sure you subscribe right down below. Hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss when I go live every single Sunday morning and now Tuesday evenings. YouTube thinks you might like this video right here on the top, so give it a watch. I'll put another playlist down below for you. This is Chris, everyone. Bye for now.